the main homestead. Now today I want to bring you along and show you how I grow sweet potato slips. Uh, we have done this before in our old property. I didn't video it. I wish I had because I'd never done it and I was and it was a huge success. So we're going to do it again this year. You'll see here I already have four slips that a dear friend of mine um, gave me and uh, she also gave me these three little tiny little potatoes sweet potatoes which are perfect for growing your own slips and uh, you can these have just like a little knobby there coming off already so we're going to plant these in the dirt and we're going to let them grow now since we are in central florida we have a very long hot summer and uh, fortunately sweet potatoes they do really well in the heat so I feel like we're going to have time to be able to sprout us some slips and be able to uh, pull them up and replant them and be able to have some sweet potatoes before the cold weather hits. Now I've just moved down the row a little bit from the slips that I already have growing. I'm just going to sell that lovely compost that we've added. <laughs> we don't want to lose any of that. So I'm just making a little trench running right beside the drip tank like that and then I'm just gonna put my potatoes in there just like that one's right beside right beside the other just like that any sprouts that I already have I'm gonna stick them where they're coming up and then I'm just gonna go and cover them up with all that lovely soil and then we'll just since it's on the drip irrigation I'm just going to I'll water it just like I do the regular potatoes. Now, on the end of this line, because we do have drip irrigation, um, we did put valves. They have, uh, we get our drip irrigation from Haas Tools. I'll link all that for you down below. But on this end, we, we put valves because we ran out of the regular ones, so we put valves down here. And I really like that, um, especially when your garden's kind of mixed up like ours, ours is. We have watermelons over there that like a lot of water, um, beans like water, sunflowers, and then our potatoes, they don't like as much water. So I was able to kind of turn the valve instead of being completely open. I was able to turn it, um, you know, where it was, wasn't as much water flowing through here. So the plants don't get quite as much water. And you saw by the sweet potato slips, they look beautiful. And I'm gonna turn around and show you the watermelons because they have, the valve is wide open on the okra and the sweet potato and the watermelons and they look fabulous guys. I can't wait to show you. All right guys, now the beans right here on the trellis, those are greasy beans and they are supposed to be like really super good. I've never had them. I'm really, really excited about them. My friend, bless her heart, she turned me on to those too. And, uh, but, and then behind that are sunflowers. Now, both of these are really good things to have in your garden, especially if you're looking for food storage or for long-term storage and to be able to provide for your family and for your animals. Now, the beans, I wouldn't feed my animals. You could, but I wouldn't because they're so good. I keep those for my family. But the sunflowers, you can also, this, these are mammoth sunflowers, which have the big old heads. I've never grown them before. I've grown a couple of other varieties of sunflowers, but I'm really excited about these. Because you can add them, goats love them, chickens love them. You can add it to your feed and to be able to, to have food to, for your animals. Now here is the watermelon patch. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all those watermelons. We were not successful last year, and I'm just really, really excited about them this year. They just look absolutely amazing. Right down here, see that little baby over there? All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and taking a little stroll through the garden. If you ever have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. And until next time, take care and God bless.